edit it. Four, three. I'm kidding. I, I started recording started. already. Yeah, I started recording already. Ah! Okay. Oh, no. We don't have abilities to edit out. No. Yeah, I, mean, actually, I got yeah. Movie Maker. It's fine. Windows anyway, Movie Maker, bro. Welcome <laughs> to the latest edition of Audio Edition. I'm your host, Brandon. That's Chris, Dan, and Nick. Uh, welcome back, guys. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed last week's episode. Thanks for sharing, liking, whatever you do. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe and follow us on our social media. We try to post there often Just or whatever. So you know, Brandon, I'm, I'm deleting your voicemail. Okay, cool. Thank you. Fuck Not you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hear that. You don't I just figured hear it was that. like, hey, bro, when you getting on? So. Yo, you, you don't want to hear that that sexy voice I was using earlier. Oh, I got I got the other I got the other <laughs> voicemail that was like three minutes long. Yeah, that's the one it's I was Brandon. talking. Brandon. Okay. It's approximately three thirty-two p.m. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that one still. Brandon's so proper. I love how this is. Yeah, I love how this is so. This is so free flowed. My Bang, voicemail like, would be like, "Man, yo, it's Nick. It's fucking like midday or something." Let's go. Like, the, the it's on your the phone. Sun. I don't need to tell you what time it is. <laughs> that is true. <clears throat> I don't know why I do that. Ooh, ooh before it's this, this like, has to do with, race, you know. This has to do with music. Are um, we? <laughs> we're, we're recording. Yeah, this is why I'm talking about music because I I fucking went off with the whole the the phone thing. At work, me and my friend, he he does this thing where a, a song will come on and he'll replace the lyrics with normally something about drugs. <laughs> so like for uh, instead of Love Shack, it's Drug Shack. So it's Drug oh. Shack in the cool plant, like that kind of thing. <laughs> but then they've been playing uh, the Grease song. You're oh, the one no. that I want. No. And I decided to replace that with put it in my butt. It's like, put it in my butt. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's some good shit. I, th I think you've got a hit on your hands there. Yeah. I know. I'm going to be the next Weird Al. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. <laughs> just, yeah. just, throw your hair, just throw your hair out really yeah, long. Just gonna, uh, I almost had it there. Now I just got this nasty fucking Holy top oh, thing. Oh, man, man. <clears throat> I would show my hair, but it's like super you, long. Bro? What up, Whoa! Man? Shut up. Leave. What up, dudes? How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> Shut up. Leave. <laughs> Hope you're doing fabulous. Shut up. Leave. And from from the no, that's bit. Jake. That's Jake. Yeah, he's going good. Good riddance, motherfucker. Pro professional, right? <laughs> that's that's a cameo mm. of Jake on Profes the Audio Addiction and podcast. He didn't even, he didn't professional, even appear. guys. Professional, he didn't right? Appear. We, we just heard his fucking voice. No, oh my god. So, how was your guys' week? Good. Pretty it was good. average. Okay. The great. American <laughs> average. <laughs> I'm kidding. I would dang, girl. <laughs> Danage. <laughs> <laughs> Dan knows what I'm talking about. Ooh, I did fuck. too. Back in the good old days. Well, I don't know. My head's ringing right now. I've been <laughs> I mean, getting uh, ringing I mean, noises could, all day. I mean, we could talk about that later, guys, if you want. <laughs> I talk a little AA, you know what I'm saying? I think we were going to talk about... I think we said that we were gonna talk about it, but like in future in the future Excuse episode. Me. But anyway, Excuse so me. the first topic that I have on my list for today is uh, one band that you guys have been listening to as of last last week, you know, into this week. Uh huh. So the band that I picked was um, a band called I don't know if it's Normandy or Norman Die. I forget how to pronounce Normandy. it. Normandy. Normandy. Normandy, um, I'm sure of it. They <laughs> just <laughs> no, they're actually not. Wee wee. Oui, oui. They are from, they are from Denmark, I believe. But oh, uh, well, it's fuck. overseas. So it's just overseas. Kind of, <laughs> kind of close, right? um, they just, they just signed to Invogue Records. Um, like that magazine? No, I'm no not the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> That's Vogue, not Invogue. I know. I was trying to be funny. <laughs> nice, it didn't work. Nice, nice. That was a good one. Um. They have a very similar sound to like the new Hands Like Houses album. Oh, really? They're kind of like, I don't know what to describe them as. They're kind of like rock, like harder rock. Okay. I would kind of, I would, I'm trying to think how I would explain them. They're kind of like, um, Bring Me the Horizons new album and like Hands Like Houses if they had like a baby and that was their band. Like screamy at all or no? I mean, I uh, guess a little Bring Me the screams, Horizons are really screamy. Like, it's more like yells, almost like like you know, like rock yells kind of a thing. I'm a savage, savage. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, kind of like that, but not like crazy. 
Okay. Um, Yo, you know I've been who... really listening to them lately. Check they, I think their out their new album Ingas like, like the, uh, I think it's like Egyptian sign Ingas or whatever. Uh, that releases, I believe it's March eighth. So it's coming up. No, not March eighth. It's like a. I'm trying to think. March tenth, maybe, or March eleventh. Jesus, Brandon, get your dates straight. This is your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just playing. Uh, you know, call it just me, made me think me, about that though. Call me out. Call me out on my own. On my own. Uh, I'm just. Podcast. I'm just playing, bro. Okay. But no, I was just uh, thinking. I need to listen to me some from Autumn to Ashes now because I remember oh, dude, that. That's ooh. I need to give them a listen. Yeah, that's your jam, man. That's, that's yeah. super old, man. That's super old emo. Old but uh, that was my band for the week. And you should really go check them out. So, how I'll about you, Chris? Right yeah, um, they're they're not really. It, this isn't so much a band, but more like a compilation album. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to be like new, like just maybe new. No, team. actually, this actually came out this week. Um, nice. This this Star Wars Headspace. Um, oh yeah, I think I saw it, that. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got um like cast all these ED, It's like basically electronic music, um, like EDM kind of stuff. That, I listen to it. It's basically the stuff you hear in clubs, but it's like remixed with like. Well, they're all original, but it has like, but you like know, like Wars. like uh, dialogue from characters and like blasters and like sounds like you know for the movies. But they have like Cascade, who's like a really popular person. Yeah, I've heard of Cascade. Um, yeah, people like that. So yeah, I I got a kick out of it. You know, riding up on all the the hype of the Force Awakens here. And, and everything else that was that was cool to listen to. Did so, you guys have? I know Chris saw it, but did you see Dan or Nick? Or are you not a big Star Wars fan? Uh, I just I haven't had time for anything. The new Star Wars. Yeah, it, yeah, it's real good. Yeah, it was There's, definitely yeah, it's definitely good. I would see it. I mean, I saw. I'm wanting to go see his uh, Deadpool. I saw Ooh, yeah, I, I, I saw it. Time. I saw it. Oh man, it's Dan, it was Dan and I are the second time. Dan and I are missing out on. You haven't seen it yet, guys. No, nah, I haven't. Oh, I wish they would have made a Deathstroke reference. Oh. Let me know. Let me know next really? week, Dan. What you say, Nick? I said I wish they would have made a Deathstroke reference since they were oh, joking yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. him being the Green Lantern, and at one point they're showing like a Green Lantern ring, like joking around about it. <laughs> I just wish somewhere in the background there was a Deathstroke poster or something. Oh, man. Did you see when he picks up the action figure of himself from um, Wolverine Origins? I must. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was dead tired when I first went in to go see it, so I did like 20 second naps here and there. So I think that's one of the things I missed until about 20 minutes in is when <laughs> I was finally so awake. Many gems in that movie. I just it was pretty good. Man, that's just fun. But anyway, get back to music. <laughs> <laughs> what you listen to this week, Nick? Um. Hey, Nick radio orc so just oh. you know classic rock and grease and put it in my butt and stuff like that <laughs> that's pretty much it <laughs> true bro <laughs> the search here man what about what about daniel daniel son da daniel. what music have you listened to uh, this week i listened to whatever the stream was suggesting most of the time just mainly Cause, minecraft suggesting cause. like Minecraft based parodies. Dan's so fucking cool. He's got viewers on his stream. Wait, He's selling Minecraft out already. Sound like? I don't, I don't even, I've never played Minecraft. So like, what's the. They're like, it's like. Game? People were taking stuff like Call Me Maybe and like changing it into things that had to do with Minecraft. Okay. Basically. <laughs> that weird. and 99 Lives. Like, like an electronic uh, music. Okay. But on purpose, I was listening to Radio Kappa. That's what I've been listening to all week. Stop, Dan. Radio Kappa. What Cal. is that? Radio Kappa is... Don't ask Radio me. Kappa no. Is, no. Oh, my God. It's oh. Cancer Balls. You opened up it's a can cancer of worms. Music balls. <laughs> it's like... It's like all... <laughs> You're not my dad! <laughs> oh, my God. And, uh... It's, it's like a compilation of... Uh... Quotes from them along with, like... Wait, media streamers? Music. Yeah. yeah. So it's oh just God. a bunch of their dialogue just like mixing it's like, together it's and like, like dialogue. It's and just really like, bad. Like, what? If there was a such thing as sewage <laughs> that you could listen to, that's what it would be. Audio <laughs> sewage. Audio sewage. Audio sewage. That would be. AKA. 
Cal Radio. <laughs> that, that, that would be the, trademark that man. That would be the follow up this. to. That would be the follow up to our uh, audio addiction. Is audio sewage. That, well, no, we'll come up with like an outtakes episode. And it'll just be titled <laughs> audio, audio sewage. sewage. That's not a bad so idea. That's, so that's the whole episode. Is what you're getting at then. It's just really bad <laughs> bloopers. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So, some what about news? Chris? What does Chris, Chris listen to? Did he say? Oh, he did yeah, say, fuck me, then. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> yeah, well, wow, way to go, Nick. Paying attention, right? Yeah, mouse. Okay. <laughs> All right, so some of the news that I found or that I thought were interesting was, um, I don't know if you heard anything about, like, that Kesha thing about her being, like, in trial with her, nope. uh, with her, like, manager. Yeah. So, apparently... I'm going. Is she the going timber? Appar apparently, the story is, is that <laughs> her manager, <laughs> is that her manager, like sexually assaulted her, like oh. in contract. You touched too much. And so she went to court to like sue him, obviously, but like she can't make any more music because she's in contract with her manager. So like whatever oh. music that she makes, she won't be allowed to make new music unless it's you know approved by him and obviously she doesn't want to work with him because of for that reason <laughs> he touched a cooter <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and so it's been a big thing and like people have like people in the i guess music industry have been like tweeting about it and showing support for kesha about like um like in their position on it so i don't know i i think I think eventually it'll get itself sorted out, but it's gonna be a while, I think, still. But mm. I don't know if you guys did any like digging on that or not. I'll Didn't be even honest, know it was like, a thing. I I don't even know what the heck the last song she came out with was. Like, when's the last Me time neither. she released an album? That's what I'm saying, cause that's I guess they they've been. Oh, in, she's like, trying to. She's trying to release new music, but she can't because she's under contract with. Uh, her manager. Yeah, cause, so, I mean, like, I used to hear on the radio all the time, probably, what, two years ago oh, or yeah, something? And she's just been, like, dark ever. Like, I haven't heard anything. Well, you see, what happened was, is it used to be K-E dollar sign H-A, yeah. and yeah. she changed it to an S, so she's probably not as popular anymore. <laughs> 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 Gotta have the money logo in there, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what makes, you know, that's what makes the money. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We, gotta, we gotta put that as like a thumbnail. It's just like a dollar sign over our thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes money. Somebody just edits it in clickbait. We'll just put clickbait in the title. How to yeah, make money. Uh, that'll that'll get in fat get stacks, the bro. There, like we want it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see a clickbait video, I'm just like this, like. Then we'll then we'll start then we'll really start making we'll start getting the views if we start using clickbait to our advantage. <laughs> yeah. So tits in the thumbnail, <laughs> and it's always got to be like a very vague sort of question answer. Like I can't believe this happened this week. There you go. Question there mark. Go. Like and then that just tits, <laughs> and that's how you get views. Ten out of ten, I... you'll never believe. <laughs> <laughs> And then put text across it like audio addiction. Yeah. Man, you can't wait till you get to number ten. And it's like a <laughs> countdown from nine. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's how all the clickbaits are on Twitter. It's like it shows you how many pages are from the like the little picture article. Mm -hmm. And it's there's like seven pages and there's only six like little article things. I'm just like <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> Somebody forgot how to me. count. Alright, so the next thing I have on my list for uh, news is that Haley Williams and Chad Gilbert of Newfound Glory they got married like this past week. I just thought that was interesting because like I remember listening to those two bands. Yeah, growing seriously. Up. So it's kind of a little bit nostalgic in a sense like but and it's, good, it's good for them and they're both kind of like pretty, I mean I know Paramore's probably much bigger than Newfound Glory. Yeah, they're both like the same kind of music genre, for the most part. I mean, they're both like pop. Well, I mean, they both evolved, but they all they yeah. all started off as pop punk bands, yeah. primarily. 
I think NFG still is. I miss the old Paramore, honestly. Yeah. Paramore is more, NFG is more rock yeah. now, but... Yeah. I think, yeah, Par I think yeah. Paramore is more pop now, not Like, rock. one of my stupid things at work is we have emergency orders and we get a shipment in. We uh we have emergencies, or, and that's shit that goes out immediately to customers. Do you say emergency songs? So, yeah, do you, do you when, whenever we get them, I'll be like, I think we have an emergency. I think we have an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> just walk around singing that, but oh, that yeah, I miss the album. old Paramore. It they were fucking album. good back the in the day. Yeah. Ooh, I, what the hell I, I don't know. One called? I liked Riot a lot, honestly. Riot was really good, that but what was really the other good, one yeah. called? Uh, it was the Paramore. Riot. It was, it was just Paramore. called Paramore. It's Paramore. It's like their self-title. Are you sure? I think awesome. you're lying to me. I'm not lying to, to you. To Wikipedia, where nobody lies. Let's see. <laughs> where nobody can edit things. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's Paramore. And I believe you, but I just have to make sure. I'm probably Cause... wrong, honestly. And I don't look like an asshole, which is because I'm wrong, but... You won't <laughs> look like an asshole, bro. All we know is falling. That's oh, what it is. No, All we I know. know. Is that With was the couch what we on it. about. Yeah. And then it was Riot, and then what's what's the third one? Brand New Eyes, and then Brand New Paramore Eyes. Shit, in 2013. Brand New Eyes was pretty good. I just didn't like their, the, the Paramore. I don't know. It was... That was the last album that funky. I enjoyed. What about you, Dan? Dan looks like he's thinking hard about it. Were this. you a Paramore fanny? Yeah. <laughs> fanny. <laughs> fanny. Fanny pack? Mm, Come on, she know. had red hair. You had to be into I, that I like, shit. I like Riot. <laughs> Riot, Riot was Riot's good. Great. It's pretty good, you know. But <laughs> it's backwards. Is it backwards? Uh, oh, it's but, uh, not backwards. I'm retarded. But, uh, <laughs> we already talked about. I have the cancer, the... mouse. Hey, mouse. <laughs> I have a cancer. <laughs> anyway. Can I have the pussy, please? <laughs> <laughs> but uh. Do I have to yeah, play Riot was discussion. probably the only album I actually listened to. I and, know, right, uh, Fred? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it was good, so good, I think it's good, good days. Heaven, guys. I mean, come on, you got these two good-looking people getting together. I think it's yeah. gold. And then they're gonna yep. have a, they're oh, yeah. gonna have, they're gonna have a music baby. Yeah, they're gonna have beautiful little too. children who can play the piano and a guitar all at the same time. Well, that's like that's like a uh, Bo Boken and Lights. That's like the same. Oh thing. yeah, that's, that's like perfect. There's that it. confused me, yo, because she's mean? all I don't know because he's all yeah. <laughs> And she's. Nah, she doesn't. Uh, he doesn't, sc he doesn't she scream. Sings a lot. Sings well, a but lot. you know what I mean. The band he's in, like he's <laughs> really in that, funny. and she's in her thing, and it's <laughs> all techno-y, And they were like, "Hey, let's make a baby." I don't yeah, know. That's exactly what they. That's what the, exactly what they went to. Probably. I, mean, I wouldn't Probably. doubt it. It they seems. That, it that seems logically accurate. Yeah. That relationship made a lot of uh, boys and girls sad. <laughs> they couldn't yeah. get an opportunity to ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My dreams are now crushed. Yep, pretty much. All right, so yeah. the last the last news thing that I have is actually Chris sent this to me. I love it. It's this the one. completely wireless headphones. Yes, they're literally, brilliant, man. They're literally like earbuds. Yeah. Without without anything else in them. Like about. Damn is it like time. the cord with the little thing in no. the center? They're just, they're just two. They're just like, two individual earbuds. Yes. Link they're, me that shit. They're Bluetooth. Shit. Dude, that's a good idea. Because I've I, seen, I've seen yeah. the one where it's two earbuds on the end and they connect. No, on they're a, not connected. No, this is it's, like it's a hundred percent. You're not connected, Nankin. <laughs> this is like secret agent stuff, man. Damn. Because like, I know that myself at dope. work, like I'm not really supposed to use headphones, and you got the hair though for that, see. so you could just put it in yeah. there. Yeah, but if you if you have a wire, you can still see it, but. Yeah. If they're completely wireless, right now I have longer hair, man. Put them in. No one would ever yeah. notice. Long hair or hat. Like, Where are you yeah. working right now, Chris? Yes. What? Where are you working right now? Good old BJ's, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> BJ's wholesale club. Oh, yeah. You're not on Night Crew, right? No, no. That's right. Where Somebody else I, I knew was on Night Crew. They, they like to take chicken pot pies and damage them out for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! I can't find it, Nick. What oh, did no. you can't find me? They exist. Though. No, I can't find On it. On Facebook. But they exist. Oh, oh, the, the, the earbuds. Seriously, the wires are so annoying. <clears throat> like I freaking hate wires. They, every time I take the half the time I take them out, they're all tangled up. I have to take like you know three minutes to untangle the damn thing. That's why I love these things. These are normal ass. Whoa! I just got a hell of a lot louder by taking them off. Uh, these <laughs> things, they're they're Bluetooth. You know, they got the little yeah. power button and shit right there, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the volume. 
and it blinks to let you know it's on, and then if it dies, it's got the audio jack right there. And I have this super stylish camo cable that goes with it, and I can use it from a PS4, so it works out pretty good. I have a stylish cable, too. Dude, that's stylish! Oh, wait, man. Okay, I'm all that stuff. Lights. Do you want to read, like, a quick description of it, Brandon? It's like, yeah. it's really a brief summary of like what they say on the website there for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah, yeah. It says, it says a, a new definition. It says, definition of wireless. No cords, no wires, no You gotta be fucking kidding me. Not only have we removed the cables, <laughs> but we have made earbuds as small and as light as possible to create the most immersive sound imaginable. From the incredible acoustic detail and clarity, to the breathtaking audio experience. Ear in is the new standard for true wireless stereo audio. And they so are you, like tiny as shit. So what do you think of this, Brandon? Do you like it? Do you not I like think it? They're dumb. Yourself? I think I think I would lose that shit. I can't wait to go for a jog and lose one of yeah, them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that I would don't definitely like earbuds, happen. They don't fit in my ear to begin with, so I, I wouldn't yeah. buy these myself. But I like I like earbuds. They're cool, though. They're cool looking, don't get me wrong, but they're probably pretty damn expensive, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay like plus a hundred dollars just so it can get lost somewhere. Yeah, basically. Ooh. I still buy these Sony headphones that are like the sport clip ones because I can't yeah, get yeah. earbuds, but I don't like I the overhead things because I can't run with them. So, but they go bad after like three months. The wire breaks inside, and, they, and the sound just goes to crap. Out of one ear, it'll just die. <laughs> so I, I, I'm that guy. Like, I have to like get a pair every three months, which is uh, annoying. I should probably yeah. just spend like a hundred dollars and get a good. Like that a, yeah, good for now. Yeah. Exactly. That's I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know yet. I haven't seen them either, so it's not like if I actually held them in my hand and like put them in my ears or whatever, that might change my mind. But at this point, like not just seeing it, I don't think I would do it. I don't think I'd buy it. What they're about probably about the size of regular earbuds? They're probably yeah. They're probably about the same yeah. size as an ear. Like, yeah. Yeah. Any... Yeah. Give or take, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a step in the right direction uh, for this technology. I mean, I've yeah, been but like for Bluetooth in general. Like, I feel like it's just not caught on really for these I'm headphones not, too. I'm much. not saying I'm not saying it's not cool. Mm. I think it's awesome, but yeah. But what I like spend, you know, it's basically like putting hundred dollars in my ear holes and then like maybe losing a hundred dollar bill like on the side of the road somewhere. Yeah, like I'm just running. One, I'm just like I'm just like yeah. Like set. I'm like running, and then it's just like a Benjamin comes out of my ear. <laughs> it's like legitimately, that's legitimately my would be my worry. It's just that like I'm throwing money out of my ears <laughs> when I could just buy like a shitty pair and keep buying a shitty pair. I got yeah. something. Oh, yeah? So what? Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, so in nineteen. 19- 61 guys. Oh, dang. Flashback. Uh, on the 21st. Uh, fuck, where was it? <laughs> Bruce Springsteen and the E Street brand. 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 <laughs> band. Nice. Performed live together for the first time in seven years in a club in New York City. Wait, what's the date? That's News crazy. is over. The 21st. That's I crazy. don't know. I'm trying to do this news thing, and I haven't had time to like, fucking see it. I, pull, I pulled one ago. up. I pulled one up. It was uh, in 1956, Elvis Presley's Heartbreak Hotel, his first million-dollar seller debuts on Billboard charts. Yeah. I think that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, not even like I'm not like the craziest fan of Elvis Presley. I think he's, I think he's an awesome singer, and I think he like, nice. definitely changed rock. Yeah, he changed it forever, man. It, but it, oh, yeah, Dan doesn't look too. Dan doesn't look impressed. But I mean, you have to admit, like he did make he did make his mark on that. Though. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. How um, about this? This one's pretty cool, <laughs> actually. In 1975, Los Angeles declared February 20th Johnny Cash Day. That's pretty fucking boss. That is pretty I fun. love Johnny cool. Cash. I know you fuckers hate country, I but know. He's cool. listen, listen, it's... Johnny Cash. I mean, <laughs> he's different. He's different. 
<laughs> He's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, it's different. <laughs> but guys, it's not the same. <sighs> it's not like Ken sure. Chesney or something. <laughs> Kenny <laughs> right. Chesney. Um, so Chris came up with this idea that we would talk about one genre per week. So I figured I'd pick the most liberal of the, uh, I guess, genres. So I picked rock. So what, I, I guess, yeah, I guess conservative, yeah. No, <laughs> eh, maybe, yeah, whatever. That's like anyway. the most mainstream that All is right, well, rock. All right, Chris. <laughs> All right, Chris. Since you want, since you brought it up, why don't you, why don't you start it up then? How what? What do you? <laughs> All right. So whatever. I mean, when, anyway, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for Rock, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys right now. <laughs> I mean, hell, that's my favorite. Topic. Tell Carlo to quit creeping, <laughs> little. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed, kid. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's just it's just the beat and the and the heavy drums, you know, and, and the and electric guitars. I mean, come on. Yeah, that is true. Like, you should just okay, get a so sheet and hang it up you behind got, you. Okay, so I know for a fact Nick started out with like classic rock. So how many of you guys like what was that like your first instance of like listening to like rock music or? Well. When I was a wee little lad, yeah. I used to listen to country and, like, MMR. Oh, really? So, yeah, same. Yeah. it was either Alan Jackson or Dwight Yoakam or some other shit. Wow, okay, yeah. And then it was just whatever was on MMR. So, but, I mean, my dad got his black truck. We <laughs> were, like, three, so 94. 94 and I remember listening to MMR in that so yeah at least since 94 oh nice I've been listening to classic rock you know what, you what know. about you Daniel not mm. really he's he's not about classic he's with the times he's a yeah. streamer <laughs> no I'm kidding yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't listen, I don't like a lot of classic I think I grew up like listening to like the popular rock so like yeah. Smash Mouth and stuff like that in my oh, mom's yeah. car. Oh yeah, all day Smash. Oh yeah, that like, was one of my like, first CDs I ever owned. Yeah, that's that's the stuff I listened to for when I was little, <laughs> and then. Go ahead. Oh me? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. You finish because I got a topic yeah, we can go. I, I got a topic hard. we can uh, do. I also, uh, I listened to basically whatever my mom would listen to because we only really listened to music in the car or. At home, and that's a lot of Shania Twain and oh yeah, yeah, my Celine dad. Man, yeah, my dad feel like a woman. Yeah, yeah, my dad listened to a ton <laughs> that kind of Shania Twain until my mom, until my mom finally decided that she was gonna buy an Evanescence CD, and that kind of oh, took yeah. off. Oh yeah. Oh nice, cool. My like yeah. for more metal and stuff like that. There we go. I, okay. I'd probably say I'd probably agree with Nick. I we I started out in classic rock. My dad's a huge classic rock fan. He has like an eight track machine in his room, so like he would put in like an eight track, and just like we would jam out. I I'm trying to think of some bit like Kiss. He's a really big Kiss fan. Uh, Sticks, Journey, uh, Boston, just like all the classics. The Eagles. I don't think we didn't listen to much. Br yeah, Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen's pretty dope, though. Uh, I like him more now that I'm I older. I think he's an acquired taste. I'm not like I'm not hating on him because he's definitely, he's definitely like one of the big, you know, influencers in classic rock for sure. But I'm just not an entirely a huge fan. But after after classic rock, you know, I definitely started moving into mainstream like Dan. So I started listening to like Evanescence a little bit. I'd probably say... You know she's doing um, solo stuff now? Is she really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently it's more like... Mellow? I don't know. I don't, like, I... Uh, excuse me, sorry. I know it's not the right word. Okay. But I want to say something along the lines of, like, more gospel-y sounding. Interesting. It's not like mm -hmm. rock. It's more like... Just more like, mainly her like singing. Celine Dion. Okay. Or, and I... <laughs> yeah, like, stuff like that, basically. You know, she she did uh, Amy Lee is 
her, but uh, she did yeah. uh, when they came out with. Nah, it don't work. Nightmare for Christmas revisited. Oh or yeah, 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 yeah. What? She did the. She did one of the songs. Yeah, I, I think. What I, the like, fuck is that? Yeah. What? what Nightmare Before Christmas revisited. I forget what that's it's about called. to be my yeah. like shit. It's like Corn did. Corn did the song that the three. Corn. Uh, oh yeah. man. And then Marilyn Manson did I the love opening corn. song. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I yeah. know. What you're talking about now. This yeah. is yeah. Halloween. This is Halloween. Yeah, I think I heard yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, you've heard that because that was on one of Marilyn Manson's albums as he mm. got it. But it's on uh, the Nightmare for Christmas one, and like Plain White Tees did a song on it. Oh yeah, they're another. And one. Uh, American Rejects, I think. Yeah, same. Did the yeah, other American one. Rejects. They did uh, the the Jack's Lament and uh, what have I? The, well, that is the same song, but then another one. But getting back to what I was saying, um, but I think the biggest band that I listened to, like rock, that really wanted me to like pick up a guitar and stuff like that, was uh, Foo Fighters. I'm pretty sure you can all agree they're like they're pretty top, dope, top tier rock. Honestly, at least, modern rock, easily. Yeah, best of- Look, we're gonna if we're gonna talk about this real quick. I got okay. some to say. Okay. So two bands, okay. Under Earth. Ooh. Not nice not no. Under Earth. Yeah. But first, Atreyu Hell made yeah. me want to be a fucking vocalist drummer because I was like, these yeah. dudes play the right drums the and right. they yeah. sing. <laughs> like it was just fucking awesome. <laughs> and then Dan Jacobs for Atreyu with his fucking green explorer made me want to play guitar, but uh. Dan, you have a guitar. Who made you? A- Why the fuck do I keep pulling my sleeve up like a prick? Oh, no. um, it looks like you're gonna show us a tattoo. Or like I'm, I'm yeah, hot in here. I'm hot in here. I just want, I want to do yeah, this, but I'm too fucking have. white. I'm too white. Look at all my scars. No, I'm I got, kidding. I got in, I got in clear ink, guys. You can't see it. But it's black it light tattoo, so you can't say it. I'm just doing scarification on my back. Yeah. Oh god, that shit's fucking gross. I mean, ugh. here, let me peel off like. Ten layers of skin, so you get so a fancy d- little design in a couple months. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. my thing. Not my so fucking you thing. You said who, want, who made me want to play guitar? Yeah, or what, what enticed oh, I you I know, I definitely know to the buy to a one. guitar? Do you know the answer to this one? I actually do. Uh, it would be... <laughs> Is it day. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was... It was this first for a very specific reason. Forget the name of the song, but it opens like. What does it sound like? And that the whole that is even though it's like a three thing. The fuck is it? Okay. So cool. Haste the day was so goddamn tough. I love them. But what about you, Dan? What made you want to play drums? Because I know you're a drummer, a fellow drummer. I think you did said Dan. Did I say Chris? Yeah, fuck me, like, I'm hey, tired, yo. Right I meant to say Chris, yeah, my bad. Anyway, fuck Chris, me. Chris, yeah, go. go. Chris. Uh, it'd probably be uh, maybe Green Day, actually. Ooh, Green Day. Yeah, well, listen, to that, just... listen to that Dookie Basket Cake. Okay, I was just uh, gonna say, uh, older radio, Green Day or newer? How fast the drummer was going. They're fucking... Uh, and the fills, awesome fills he was doing all over. Like, this... I want to learn how to play drums like this guy, like, Blink-182. Oh, you know, yeah. Travis Barker, like... That's what I mean, like, all the... The mid '90s, late '90s guys, because um, that's about the time when I started getting into playing drums in school mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be back in a second. But yeah, but, uh, as long as it's older Green Day and not newer Green Day, oh, fuck those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you? When was your cutoff, though? My cut cutoff? Off? Yeah, cutoff for Green Day. Uh, well, did I realized like it got fucking like- completely. I don't know. I hated American Idiot. I, I like f- that. Oh, man. Fucking wake me up. When yeah, September, I, I don't know. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I don't like it. I just don't. American I don't know. Idiot, da, 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 and then they made a fucking Broadway play about it. Get out of here! <laughs> but I'll be back in a second. I no. You gonna, I actually what? thought. I thought Dan was gonna say um, uh, Jack White. Uh, Jack White I didn't start listening to actually until a couple of years after yeah. I got into Hits Wait, today. Oh, okay. Because yeah, that's what I, I, I didn't thought listen it, to for a while. I was gonna I thought it was White Stripes at first and then I was like I was like maybe it's Haste Today. It has to be Haste Today. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
but definitely uh, one of them. Jack White's definitely, I uh, definitely now I would say, if I was to get back into guitar, I would definitely, I would definitely go for more of like a blues rock style. Yeah, I know. What I you just mean. love the sound and want to play it. Yeah. I'm trying to think who else like really got me like going on that like just was like man I want to play so yeah guitar like uh definitely Foo Fighters for a hundred percent definitely them um just like Nick said like classic rock like Led Zeppelin all those like all those great songs that they did like Black Dog uh, oh my god dude no Cashmere uh, trampled underfoot. Trampled, uh, trampled underfoot. Yeah, that that was cool. Yeah, that was I love that song. Uh, Nirvana was cool too. Oh, <laughs> I, love I hate Nirvana. I mean, that's such, that's such an iconic album, though. You can't deny it, though. Yeah. Even if you don't enjoy that type of music. Sure, man. It sounds like Team Spirit. Led Zeppelin? Or no, you, we're talking like about Nirvana? Oh, okay. We're talking about Nirvana, but yeah, yeah. all no, all of Led Zeppelin's albums are awesome. They're so, pretty dope, bro. Yeah. Dope AF. Dope, bro. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but okay, let me, let me, no. okay, no, finish, okay, finish, back. finish. No. no, that's what I was okay. going to say, that's what I was going to... Because I think Chris, can I do it right? Oh, fuck yeah, I got it because the box is Chris. You'll see oh, it in nice. a day. When Chris <laughs> said, what did you say the first album you bought was? Oh, Smash, oh Mouth. Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Yeah, man. So this was the first album I ever got. Well, actually, it might have been ending, If you can read it. But... Five. Five. So fucking, uh, ugh, just no. The first album I ever bought, though, this is the kicker. It's a good one. The first album I ever bought was Creed Higher Ground. No, I was thinking about that. No. <laughs> no. So I was no. like, I remember hearing about a radio in the car. Can you take me <laughs> higher? Yeah. But yeah. I try, now that you got me on the topic of, like, first albums. What was your first album that you bought? Because, I mean, I got five as a Christmas gift when I was, like, a weetard, so I don't even remember if I asked for it. Jake got Goo Goo Dolls. My older brother got Backstreet Boys. Yeah. I'm trying to think. The first the first one I can remember buying was um, the All-American Rejects album. Whoa, that's a good one. That was, uh, let me see. That I, swing, I swing probably swing had it. Let me look. No, not that one. It's, um... It's the one with like all their hits on it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Need a new fan. This fan why don't you sucks tell, dick. Why don't you, Chris, why don't you talk more about Smash Mouth, I guess. Your first album. Or Dan. Dan, do you remember your first album? I don't, your album, Cherries. <laughs> I don't remember any other songs on that album besides the one that they always played on the radio. <laughs> Dude, I went back after I remembered the first album I got was five. I went back and tried listening to him was like holy shit I can't believe I actually listened to this trash it's just bad <laughs> you know, Dan I can't like Dan else is listening I can't hear you Dan oh there you uh, are yeah uh, I was saying uh, that Chris should have gone first because <laughs> oh. I, I had to think about it for a second well, technically he went first way long ago oh I remember that one yeah is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've never um, really listened to them, actually. This one was, at, like, honestly, even years later, I listened to this, like, all uh -huh. the way through, and it's still my, it's still one of my favorites. Like, I don't care what anybody says. That one's my, oh, one of my favorites. About. They, were that, good they were great. I think, at, but I think after this album, they started to decline, though. This yeah. was, like, their last good album. They were, like, first That was when they were super popular. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. What was yeah. the song they kept playing on the radio? Uh, uh, Move Along. That's it, yeah. Yeah, that's like the, that's that was the what I title, about. title, tra title yeah. track, yeah. Uh -huh. But they have like a ton, like all of these songs are great on that album, so. If, so. I can always give it to you if you want to listen to it, Nick, or whatever. Uh, Brandon. Yes. Since you have your new band thing that you do. Since Fantasy. you're just so <laughs> current you and hip. <laughs> you have like all the new bands you listen to. Okay. The way I have this shit recording, if you wanted, we could do, like, an ending where it could be, like, a recommended song. Yeah, that's what and I And I could make the ending yeah. just be, like, boop, click it, and it would switch to the music video, yeah. and I could click play. Yeah. 
and it would be like recommended this week by Brandon. You oh, know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, and then we could just do one for each person for the nah. next week. Yeah, yeah, we could we could switch on and off here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it wouldn't have to be it wouldn't have to be current. I just figured for you it would be like, like current song. new recommendation. Yeah, I would no. probably yeah. have I like even I even posted it on Twitter. That's why you need to follow us on Twitter because um, I posted a poll <laughs> I think two days ago about like uh well, not two I... days ago, but it was like a week ago now. Um I posted a thing about like either an artist spotlight or like suggestion of the week kind of a thing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we can definitely do something along those lines. Cause I was but, gonna say I probably won't have new music to listen to, but like no, fucking no. trampled underfoot is my oh, shit. Yeah. Oh no, I know. I'd like to put that at the end of the video. That'll just make everything pop. I'd love that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Um, but. let me see what else I got. Here. Okay. Ooh. So, this is what I like when you read through comments of like people like when they post a new song, a band posts a new uh -huh. song or whatever, and stuff like that. What is that? Oh, that's your first album? In sync, bro! Yeah! That's, yeah, that's wait. That's the first yeah. album I ever got. Because Locked it's Friday it. night, yeah, I and I just, 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 got paid! That was, that was, that was the a, first album I ever got. That's a good one. But the first one I ever bought was P.O.D., one of P.O.D.'s albums. Nice. I think their first one. What's that really called? Good. Payment on Death? But okay, yeah. so this is this is Table where it's gonna get a little bit weird. Yeah. So my first album, so my first album was five. The first one I bought technically was Creed, oh. because I, I had my mom with me. I was young, but the first like, because there used to be a store down the street from me where uh, Arts? Chris Arts, yeah, yeah Arts used to be there, CDs, like, a and they they'd out. they'd Better sell play. movies and DVDs early, and if it was like an R-rated movie or explicit lyrics for a CD, he didn't give a fuck. Like, he just charged two extra bucks than everyone else. Yeah. So, the first album I actually bought as, like, a badass breaking the rules and shit <laughs> was Hawthorne Heights. Oh, the, nice. uh, the, like, I the re-one. Really Not the first one. Like, the first album, but, like, the deluxe edition when they came out with the black and the white edition uh, and I got the yeah. white edition because they didn't have the black edition and I wanted the black edition because I was emo and my soul was so dark <laughs> yeah, I, 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 the, I the white was clashing with me oh, man. I'm trying to think yeah. what else oh my aunt bought me um, I don't know if you remember the band Sugar Cult yeah one of their albums uh -huh. That's what I, I have one of. Their I haven't heard that name in I, fucking forever. One of their, your, your, your aunt was really cool to know how to buy you like. Well, I was like, oh, I was like, I like a few songs on this album. She's like, do you want oh, it? And I was like, okay. sure. So we went to like F. I think it was like Fye or something like that, and I I got Sugar Cold. I don't remember what the name of the album was, but that was probably the first album that like I got from somebody else, like that I didn't I guess didn't buy per se, but. Yeah. Um, uh, the no strings attached, as well as a boombox. Nice. In order yeah. to pay it on. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Okay. So, what were you gonna say next? Just, just one thing. I wanna. I, I get. It's gonna take me a second to get it up. Okay. But uh, cause I know you guys don't give a fuck because you're not all into that boy band shit like I am. Are you talking about? Are you talking about like a new song or something like just, that? Just, just something about, like, funny in general. And I'm trying to get to it real quick, if no, I can, I'm, but, uh... I'm, I'm against... I'm not against boy bands, per se. Like, because I use... We use... I'm pretty sure every one of us listened to, like, Sync or, like, Backstreet Boys. I was Sync and Backstreet Boys, just um, saying, y'all. But... Like, all of those, you know what I mean? Okay, I almost got it. Give so me I'm one not more necessarily, second. I'm not necessarily hating on boy bands. We don't have a... We don't have a hate for boy bands, Nick. Okay, so this is the album art for Lil Wayne's shit, The Carter. I know it's oh, really yeah, yeah, dark. Yeah. No, Maybe I've, I can get it a little bit lighter. I've seen it before, though. No, I know. That's, okay, so The Carter. <laughs> yeah. And then Zayn Malik from One Direction, his new album art for his, I is guess, it, album that's going to be coming out. This is his. <laughs> but oh, what made me on. laugh is while I was looking for that, I found this. Are they together? And that's for Lil Wayne. 
<laughs> and it's like him as an old fuck. I was pissing my pants. But uh, yeah, I just so wanted anyway, to share that. Yep. Uh, the next topic that I have, and it's kind of like, I guess, for Nick, it will be about complaining. So I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy this section. But um, <laughs> I was listening. Fucking! To- no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> no, um, so I was listening to the new Icy Stars song because this is the song after they kicked out their I think it was their guitar player and their screamer and so, so the brothers um they are brothers but I think one, one of them plays the drums and the and Devin sings that's Clint. right okay but anyway so they kicked Zach out the screamer of the band not on purpose like he had a kid with I guess his wife or girlfriend or whoever and so he can't tour anymore so they wanted to move on as a band obviously yeah 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 so listen anyway, so, just because you have a kid doesn't mean you gotta fucking see him yeah. <laughs> no i'm kidding <laughs> yeah, daddy why'd you leave me <laughs> sorry music's more important <laughs> you could just be like attila and name your son uh blaze that is true. What, yeah. really? <laughs> what a oh, f- get what the fuck out of here! <laughs> Joker, <laughs> yeah, that, son's name. Oh, that, that is a ridiculous person. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying is that like in the comment section, people were like, "Man, this is shit!" Like they fucked their sound up. Like they better call. Like they better get like Zach back because he sounds much better than Devin does. Like and stuff like that. And right. it made me, it made me, th- it made me think like how many people like complain about like somebody changing their sound like what, a lot of be, people have it be like asking out Xandria. Danny obviously moved on. They changed well, their sound. He like, blew his vocal last... cords. Yeah, yeah, he no, couldn't I, stream I anymore. An here. But I mean, I I understand that, and that's and that's that's fine. But I that's, just find yeah. it fun. Yeah. I just find it funny that like everybody complains about like. You know, sorry. This is whatever. Like, oh, they sound like shit. They change their sound or whatever. Or the opposite. They keep their sound the same. They're like, oh man, these guys sound like exactly the same as the last. Yeah, their album sounds the same. Why did I people fucking complain for no reason? Yeah, Yeah, it's because like, what's the thing that I remember? Because it was it was back when I was really big in the Bring Me the Horizon. Like, Pray for Plagues was like, She's not that now! Like, that kind of, like, yeah. screaming style. Yeah. And then next it was, I got a sacred! It sounded like that kind of <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, and everybody yeah. was like, dude, what the fuck, Ollie sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, the biggest thing that made me laugh was, um, Chelsea Smile oh, yeah. sounds ridiculously identical to a song off of Escape the Fates album when they really? first got Craig Mabbit. Really? Go through it. It's like it's like it's not that like the din and it din and it and it and it's not like, it's not the guitars, but it's something like Vocal-wise? that makes it sound oh, like the same. Produ- oh, production wise or something. Not production wise, but something about the instruments makes it sound very similar. Similar. Okay. Mm. And on that note, just adding this in real quick since I'm on the boy band kick today. <laughs> Thank you. <God>. Um. <laughs> <laughs> on, on a serious note, who here knows uh, Hungry Like the Wolf? Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. I forget who it is now, but Hungry Like... Is it... Well, okay. the album name's Rio. It's not, they're an old band, right? Yeah. Uh, something with a D. Oh, God, I forget right now. Man, we are old, but... But, um, <laughs> look up oh. Five Seconds of Summer. Oh, no. And what is not it? Them. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Not hey everybody! That, they're honestly they're not, they're not that, that bad. bad. Yeah, I was gonna say. If if bad. you were talking like if you were to scold me for any one of the boy bands I listen to, oh, it was Duran Duran. That Duran Duran, Duran, that's it. Duran Duran. 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 If if you were like right. One Direction sucks and you're queer, okay, I understand. One Direction <laughs> is like a hardcore boy band. Yeah. But yep. Five Seconds of Summer is more rockish. But Five I Seconds of Summer, if you look up Hey Everybody, it sounds so fucking close. To hungry like the wolf, and apparently they played <laughs> some show in New York for like a news station, yeah, and all yeah. the fucking old people in the crowd were like, "It sounds like Duran Duran," uh, <laughs> and like complaining about it. It's funny <laughs> as hell. But yeah. No, but getting back to what 
what I was, we were saying about like people changing their sound like it always bugs me that like people are always quick to like jump on the internet or whatever like they I genuinely do <clears throat> think that most people that complain or give a shit about like them changing their sound genuinely go up to the band and they're like I didn't like that you changed that or whatever yeah, like you know what I mean well, behind the computers man. yeah in general I think the issue is people are quicker to complain about someone else's like yeah changes faults or short fallings than they are to admit their own like so can, it's easier for somebody to go on the internet and say oh well this song sucks dick because you changed your voice and eat a dick <laughs> Whereas they lost their job and have been jobless for like three months and they're fucking bugging, I don't know. Everybody. But now I know what you mean. What it, do you it, think? What do you think, Dan? Dan looks like he's vibing out over here. He's vibing out. Oh, I was just uh, <laughs> I was uh, listening to the music stylings of uh, Radio Kappa. Oh no! Stop, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit off here. <laughs> Audio sewage. <laughs> I, know, I, know the... I gotta listen to one of them. I haven't listened to one in a while. Right, I haven't, well, I haven't since, had ear since cancer. Dan, since well, Dan, since Dan's sound, right? You know? Yeah. Because yeah. I, was, I was listening, but then you asked me that, and then I just started thinking about Radio Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> no, like, I think the biggest thing is what I think Nick already brought up was uh, Danny Warsnop. And I'm just like, he can't, he can't sing the way he used to. Yeah, the no. like, best song I've heard of his since everything was the song he did with, um, Breathe Carolina. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Breathe yeah. Uh, Carolina. Sellouts. Yeah, sellouts yeah. Like, that was a fucking awesome song. But other than that, like, I nev I'll admit I never really listened to whatever the one after their second album was. Yeah. But, like, moving on, like, the last song they did with him, Jake had to fucking ruin it for me and listen to it 50 fucking times an hour. But it's a good song. It hit me in the but We Are Harlot, oh my god, just so fucking good. They're just fucking good. Well, I'll have to check them out then now. I'm pretty That's sure they're like... As fuck as I get. Is yeah. Weird. Uh, yeah, like they're they're like a power band. I'm pretty sure like every member is some kind of like previously part of a badass band. Let uh, me look okay. it up real quick. So I'm pretty sure we'll continue our as, shit, and I'll as, just interject as, like I normally as Nick do. Is looking up. What What are your thoughts, Chris, on like people change? Like your thoughts on like bands changing their sound or whatever, and like people complaining about that? Yeah, man. People are just just scared of change they just they get so used to the band you know listening to them hundreds yeah. of thousands of times whatever and then they, they go and change their, their sound that's not what they envision and they have a hard time getting over that uh, you know it's just it's one thing if if they actually don't sound good yeah but it's no, another thing if they it. actually evolve as musicians and actually do mm. things like more complex and actually sound like they've gained uh, technique and skill and all that then it's it's great you know I think so it's people I think can't it's... really see past like their mindset of like oh I didn't want them to sound yeah. like this and I also... got stubborn that way <laughs> I also think I also think like um, when you tour and stuff because they tour with these albums obviously or yeah. EPs or whatever they pick up from other bands like you don't just stop like learning how to do shit like other bands can teach you how to do stuff like that you wouldn't expect or learn how to do like on your own and like obviously like you said Chris their sound evolves over time just cause like as musicians they grow they listen to different types of music like it just expands their like more creativity and like people want I think like you said people are afraid to change like they're afraid for them to like oh well like this band doesn't sound good anymore because they did this or that or whatever and like I was even like even reading about like the new Hands Like Houses album because they went more in a heavier direction oh, really? compared to like their their two previous albums like they were kind of lighter like they had yeah, some heavier yeah, yeah. songs but like you know Trent and their singers now like doing some scream parts a little bit like oh. you know what I mean so like 
for them they became more of like they're becoming more of like a kind of like rockish type of band Rocky. with some like screams so maybe like hard rock almost yeah. at this point but like people are upset that they're like changing and stuff but like i think as musicians and like we all play instruments you always want to kind of like do better you always want to yeah. learn something different like you want to it gets you get tired of it, playing the same yeah. thing so you got to challenge yourself to like oh this will be this seems like a fun way of playing uh, you just yeah. experiment and, and I, find out you like to do that and it's like well whatever i'm gonna go this way i don't care what other people think because it's my music i'm gonna make what i want <laughs> yeah. i did think of another example is uh the difference between the Black Parade and oh yeah 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 their, their oh huge, the other huge album difference. yeah the, huge difference yeah huge difference and so many people were just like my band died like was, I have a bit like, I was kind of one of those could, people <laughs> they couldn't like my like, performance and I was <laughs> so like oh man I was like I didn't really listen to it much anymore after that yeah I under, like I know it I know what you're saying like there were, there was like reasons why I listened to my Camp Romance. In like the three cheers for sweet revenge and stuff like that. Yeah, that one's great. Yeah, yeah that's the one I know. Uh, it really made me happy that like it was like they came, they came out with an album that was like you know like we're happier now, like we're not like emo kids that want to die now. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that, they made me happy that they were able to, at least for their. It's not even their last album because they actually released. I think like five sets of two songs. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Many people heard. They're all like, the covers are all like different guns, but yeah, it's basically yeah. a whole album that they didn't officially come out with uh, before their like greatest hits album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were deciding, I guess, that they were done. You know, who's sad. Uh, speaking of greatest hits albums, fucking betray you, man. I love that greatest. Hits they album. did the, but that was good. But what happened <laughs> after the greatest was hits. really bad. <laughs> like they were like, we're gonna go mainstream, becoming the bull. Oh, yeah. Like I mean, and it was a good song, but oh I mean, my you could God. you could that say was the only good song on the album. Like could, what was it? <laughs> Lead sales and paper anchors. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. But like you could say the same thing. Like I I can definitely say this without a doubt. Uh, Fallout Boy changed tremendously after oh, I think I forget which album. I think it was like folks. This is a French one. I forget which one. It's got like the bear on it or whatever. Um, that's after that I stopped like listening to them, and it's not necessarily anything against them. Like, but under the court tree, um, and what was the other one? There was another one. Oh, Infinity on High, or something like that. Those yeah. two albums are great. Like, and in, even the one before that, like their first album, was awesome. But like, like you said, it's even the same thing with My Chemical Romance too. Like Black Parade, and Three I like Cheers. Black which, Parade. Yeah, no, they're all great. But we were talking about like how bands depart from like yeah. what you envisioned them to be, and I think that's kind of like biases that we have because we're like oh man you know we want another black parade album or we want another under the cork tree album yeah. or we want another you know another awesome hit like album and the fact of the matter is that's not going to happen like and i'm not just saying that yeah, just it's hard like to i don't think that's it's success first, exactly first again, of all that and secondly and secondly it's like they don't want to make the same album again it's just yeah. like you want to grow, you want to evolve as a musician, as a group together. You don't mm. want to make a, you don't want to make a Black Parade too. You know what I mean? Mm. And I'm pretty sure that's what My Chemical Romance didn't want to do. Now, will I say their departure from their old sound wasn't all right? Like, sure. In a lot of people's eyes, that's like, you know, the that album and their new other album completely different in terms of you know sound wise, but. I mean, you gotta respect them for what they do, just even if you don't necessarily agree. And like, I even have, I have like Luke Moss, The Flames on here, and they've made like three albums that sound exactly the yeah, same. And people are and yeah, people are happy. People and people are happy with that shit. Oh yeah. It, In the back. Yeah. Uh. uh <laughs> that, the dude with the Batman shirt on. I think hello, sir. 
Teacher man, I think, um, honestly, in my opinion, I think Bring Me the Horizon. I think Bring Me the Horizon did a really good job at their transform, just because yeah, it was right. along so many albums. They I mean, really don't get me wrong, whatever the fucking name of that one song, Crocodile Blood or Alligator Blood, that was fucking terrible. But, as a whole, they went from like, ah, to... Ah, or whatever now, like whatever he does now. But just overall, I think they're they, they did it correctly. They uh, slowly got to it, rather than being like I could say Dragon Hunter, where like the first time I heard Dragon Hunter, I was like, <laughs> yeah, and then like their next album was like, dum dick dick dum dick thing, like something like that. I was like, what yeah. the fuck is this noise, like? <laughs> this isn't dra- de- your demon hunter. Or I think it was demon hunter. Demon I don't hunter. know. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're referring to demon hunter. Yeah. Demon hunter, probably. Oh god, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. Do it very well either, because it's like Black Parade was very similar to Three Cheers for Super yeah, Revenge. Exactly. You know, and mm-hmm. then four years after Black Parade, they're like, boom, here's a totally different sound. Like <laughs> they came out with like a live version because they went on tour with Black Parade. Yeah years yeah like uh-huh. it stopped for so long like yeah it's it was ridiculous i also like if they do change their sound i almost treat it as if like they're an entirely new band not like in a bad way it's just like my i have like for me just with my own biases like i have to change my outlook on what like i have to come in with just like a fresh mind like you know, they're not gonna make the same album. People are saying this album's different. Like, I'm just gonna listen to it whether, like, e- whether I've listened to their past albums or not. I'm just gonna go into it being like, I like this. Or if I hear a single, I'm gonna be like, oh, I like this. You know what I mean? And just treat it as like something new. It was like the same thing with, um, like you said, with Bring Me the Horizon from like when they were playing, um, What's the one with like the guy with the mask on it? It's got like a uh, it never. Season? No, 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 no. Uh, there's a heaven, believe never, me, I've yeah. seen it. There's uh, a hell. It's or no, it's there's a hell, believe or some fucking shit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know what you mean. One but, of those uh, works. That kind of trans like that was like their transition. That was their then, first transition. And then Sepaternal was. Sepaternal was more of a like an electronical dealio, I think. Yeah. And then now they are where they wanted to be. Which is how I, I feel about which it. Which I appreciate, like the transformation you know what i mean like yeah. i listen to them each separately for the different albums and you know obviously you know we've been listening to them since count your blessings but like i love going back to people, fucking pray for pe- plagues like, and yeah, a lot exactly. like holly or a lot like vegas Ugh. Yeah. And then, she like, starts people- her new diet of liquor and <laughs> dick bros <laughs> Liquor and dick. Like, and then Love like it. some some people came in on like different albums. Like, sep- some people came in on Separate Eternal. Some people came in on that Heaven album. Some people came in on the newest. The album. Heaven one was really good. I like that. They one. were they were all great in their own respect. Like, if you just took them as individual albums from the same. Unless band. you compared it to their previous shit or yeah. while you started listening to them in the first place. Exactly. And I'll admit, in the beginning, I had no fucking clue what they were saying but i was like it's so tough and i'm young <laughs> yeah, I love and then i found out the lyrics and i was like man this isn't me <laughs> but i love it yes, like as far as like m- my morals and everything go i should be like a good little christian boy but i don't believe in that shit <laughs> so it's like sounds familiar yeah like i don't know uh, but yeah we know yeah definitely it was even like the same with like like Mods of Flames. They got like more pissed off as the albums oh, came out. Oh, I remember out. you said me that song. I've never like, really I'm listened to pissed off before. I'm like, how's that possible? I'm like, this is good. I'm like, what the heck? They did get more pissed off. That's what I love about him is just like every new song is just like more and more hangry. Yeah, like I don't know how he can. I like for this next album. I don't know how he's gonna be more aggravated than like previous albums. Yeah. It's just gonna be and too. It's tough. always about the same thing, and it, the music is always great. Uh, like it, it is always aggravating. It's like you lied to me about religion. Yeah. I hate you. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> the depths of my hate grow, so, grow longer. For we are harlot. I got. 
Danny Warsnop from Asking Alexandria. Yeah. It says Jeff George, but then for some reason it says Sebastian Bach. What? I don't know. I, I it says know, Jeff I George of Sebastian Bach. I don't know what the fuck that means. That was, uh, but, uh, wait, I think it was a man. Bach? It's he, a was man. From, he was, he was like, from Skid he was Row. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was from Skid Row, but it says Jeff George of Sebastian Bach. So he had his own band at one point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then there's Bruno something. I don't even want to try his name, but it was Revolution Renaissance he was from. And then there's a dude, Brian Weaver, and I. they had fucking nothing for him, but... It wow, seems like good. at least half of the band was some was from a pretty I mean, successful man. former band, and they created the Power Band. Makes I sense. Mean, what what would you place it? Um, Danny's like a super Saint uh, Skid Row fan. Who is Danny? Oh, is he? Yeah, that's why they have that like that electronic album where they also did Skid Row covers. Oh, I didn't. Wow. I didn't even know they did that. What is that? Yeah. And on the on link the, me, bro. <laughs> on the reckless and relentless album. Uh, That's the one I didn't listen to. In the in their music videos, the singer from Skid Row is like in them, and they like chill yeah. and party in the video. That's cool. Whoa. It's pretty dope, mate. Just kind of where you can get like where he got his like rock wants from is obviously he's like a big. Where he first realized he wanted booze. Drugs and bitches, a BDB. <laughs> but all right, so I think we're all good on that one, unless you wanted to talk about it a little bit more. But um, my next topic that I have are tours that are coming up. So the first one I have on my list is uh, Coheed and Cambria. They're doing a new album. Yeah, you didn't already know that. And so they're going to be on tour. I don't know if the I'm pretty. I pretty sure I heard the Philly dates were sold out for that already. So already. Yeah, and they, wow. I think they're coming around. They're coming around like another week or so. So, they're out. And another tour that I have is um, the Born of Osiris Veil of Maya after the burial like co tenure headliner tour thing, and that's actually tonight. While we're recording it, I've so, never listened to any of those bands. So you've, you've heard of? Oh come on, I've you've heard, heard of Born of Osiris? Who was it? Coheed and Cambria, Born of Osiris. What do you call them, Dan? Dan, who's Born of Osiris? Boo crew. <laughs> I can't hear you, bro. Yeah, we can't hear you, bro. You got your shit fucking Boo. muted again. And Brennan, we call them. Oh, Cheerios. Born Cheerios, Cheerios, that's it. Born, born of Cheerios. Cheerios. Okay, that's what it is. See the tabs? Oh wait, wait, wait! One zero zero zero. We'll have to, we'll have to, um, um, I'll have to. I'll tell the story about Dan and I. We went to go see, um, Devil Wears Prada. He did like a headliner with uh, the Word Alive. Who else was on that? Uh, Born of Osiris. And there was another band. But anyway, so the entire time Word of Osiris was on, we like were making fun of them, like not the whole time, yeah. pretty much. And uh, we were like, "Yo, Dan," I was like, "You want the tabs for this new song?" And I was just like. <laughs> And then I sent him a text message, and it just all just was <laughs> Yeah, he sent me a Snapchat or something of that shit. Yeah. He, he was like, oh, hold on. And then he like, got a better one for you. And then sends me a picture of a box of Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, Cheerios got the lowdown on their new, new album. Yeah. Yeah, 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 their cover. Cheerios. And then... Uh, yeah, that was just great. And then everybody around us was just getting pissed off that we were like making fun of them. Like, no, stop! This is my favorite band. They're good, but <laughs> I'm not saying they're. You can bad. still just... make fun of shit even exactly. if you like it. Fuck just... it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But it was hilarious. The people oh, were getting yeah. like super pissed about it. 
Or I got a quick story that doesn't relate to music at all. It's just oh fucking God. hilarious. <laughs> okay. Uh, people at my work were talking about Five Guys and how their burgers are fucking good. Yeah, they're really And I was really talking good. to my one friend this morning. I was right like, in and out, bro. I really want Five Guys right yeah, now. And he was like, that can be taken a different way. I was like, sometimes <laughs> you just have <laughs> needs that one man can't accomplish. <laughs> but... I thought that was pretty funny, because I was just thinking I could go for the fucking greasiest burger ever, and he was like, that could yep. be taken differently, and I just went with it. I commit. I, I love making shit awkward. You it's great. Commit, commit to I commit. Jokes. Yes, I do. <laughs> fucking know it. <laughs> okay. I'm in, that, I'm in that same boat, so, yeah. Uh, another, okay, so another one that I have on my list is uh, The Word Alive. Um... They are doing, like I said earlier, while well, I was talking to you guys about it, they're on tour with uh, Fit for a King, and uh, Wait, really? yeah, that's why I said that's the that's the show, March eight, March nine. It's oh, gonna that be a, it's gonna day. be a rad show. How much is it? Uh, I think it's like less than twenty dollars. I'm sure. Huh, How when 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 does it start? Probably late. Yeah, I can't go. <laughs> probably like uh, unless it no, starts no, like, at six thirty right probably, after probably, I get out of work. They do, right? Probably start doors are probably at six. They have they have one local band and then they have um I've re out came the wolves. I think is the other one. Fit for a king is so good though. I've Fit seen for a king place. is oh, oh my for god. I've right. never listened to them. They will. Oh, you got to do yourself a favor. And listen yeah. to this guy. They, <laughs> they will rip you a new face. Oh yeah. What was really that good. band I was supposed to listen to last weekend or last week? No, it's not me. Was it uh the weekend? Yeah. I think it was the weekend. I never listened to them yet. I haven't had the time. Weekend's rad. I like him. But uh. Oh, so another one I got. Is um, like Mods to Flames. I really want to see them. They're doing a headliner with uh, a like a shit ton of like I think like two other heavier bands. It's gonna be nasty. Like if Where's you want to go, if you want to go to, I'll have to find it. I'll have to find the dates for it. But uh, I think it's. I don't know if it's. It's at Philly. It's in Philly. Oh. But that that show is probably gonna be disgustingly like. Mosh heavy. Yeah, I can't wait to see what those guys look like on stage. Oh. They're, they're crazy. I think I've seen them maybe like once or twice at Warped. Me. Yeah, I saw them at Warped, I think. Like Lost of <laughs> Flames, they're at Warped. Who? Like Lost of Flames wasn't at Warped this year. Not this year, but I've seen Oh, they played them. previous I've years? Seen, I, I think they played previous years. Or I've seen them at like, look, I've seen them at like show, another show, but they're, yeah, they're crazy. He's nuts. I'd, I'd like to see them again. I think they're playing with like, I think one of the band. Let me pull it up now. One of the bands is like a death Australian deathcore band, and they actually don't sound too bad. Austrian death machine? No, not Austrian. I said no, Australian. I know their lead singer's in jail because he's a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another day. That's for another. Another day. day. Another day. <laughs> Something else for me to <laughs> fucking complain about because he's <laughs> an Lee. asshole. Tim, what an asshole. Tim Lady Venice, man. He's the best. <sighs> oh my god. Oh, it's just Tuesday. be like every other rock band guy and fuck any skank that'll hop in your trailer. Seriously. It's like uh, uh, It's at Tuesday, March 29th, Chris. <laughs> oh, okay. It's on a Tuesday. Oh, it's uh like Monster Flames, uh Ice Nine Kills. Oh, I, they're still around. I remember, yeah. I remember they've been around for years. Those guys. Uh, they're pretty make, good. I started them, listening to them recently. Make them suffer, and light up the sky. But light up the sky is like a local bitch. trash. They're like no, they're, <laughs> no, they're, they're like they're like they're like try to be heavy, but they're really not. Like, <laughs> like if you ima <laughs> just imagine, probably the, like I'm not trying to hate on them or anything, but they definitely sound like one of the more generic bands okay i'd say yeah that, that sounds like a six show though. they got another oh i forgot to mention this one uh bless the fall miss, miss may i are doing a tour together i really? don't see miss may i yeah, that's, 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 that's mon that's uh monday the seven wow it seems like it's a really good it is this month this mon bands, yeah man. oh yeah it's every uh, weekend it seems like there's something going on they had a good lineup too in I, march at least i don't have it on here Who's right going to the Warp Tour this year? Uh, I, 
What do you mean? Going? Well, I don't know, because last time I looked at Warp Tour's lineup, it was really bad. Oh, no, this and year's, two no, years last year's, previous. No, last year's wasn't bad. Honestly. We all went together, yeah. yeah. We went together. Well, I don't know. Like, I just remember last time I looked at it, I was like, who are all these indie fucks? Yeah. Because it was nah. like nothing but fucking indie kids, and I hate indie music. Fucking well, put a I mean, flute you're, you're or a bagpipe in your music, year. but. Really like. Wasn't. It was pretty good this year. It was. Uh, I think you're talking year. about the year before. I was gonna say I remember yeah. looking at it one year, like right after high school, and I mean I guess me and Chris can relate because we graduated the same year. Dan only gradu graduated a year later. I don't know when you graduated. When did you? Oh. When did you? Oh. Oh, the pointing oh, worked. Right. It was, worked. Mine was two. <laughs> two years. Two years later. But, like, like, that year it was supposed to be Kill Switch Engage and, like, Ooh. so many other fucking bands. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna go! And then I yeah. forgot the takeoff, and it, it it didn't happen. Then when I was gonna go, like, two or three years ago, it was nothing but a bunch of indie fucks. And I don't know. <laughs> nah, this year it wasn't. Have they made any band announcements yet, Brandon? No, that's not until, like, that's not until... What about Bamboozle? I've never, I've, I've only that heard of that like exist. once. That doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, they just name it Skate and Surf. Yeah. Now, really. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty that's much the same the, thing. Uh, that's at that new place, the arcade place. What is it called? It, Game it's, Changers it's World. Called? Changer World? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Game oh. Changers in Howell, right? Yeah. I yeah. think that's where they have it now. No, they have it. No, it's not. Game, is it at Game Changers? I don't believe so. Isn't the I last don't know. Like, like, I've never been there. I always wanted to go, but. Um, oh, so here's the, the last time I heard about Bamboozle was, was with My Chemical Slipknot. Romance. That that's the last one I remember. Yeah, Slipknot was playing, and that was like 2011. My Chemical Romance played their last show in Asbury Park on the I last. I my thing. fingers and do yeah, my. Yeah, I know. I heard about Bamboozle. Um, oh, so getting back to the Bless the Fall thing is Bless the Fall, Miss May I. The plot in you. Oh, that's gonna be sick show. What's the uh, fall still seven, got? Seven. What's his name, right? Bo. Bo Bokum. Yep. Or yep. whatever the fuck it is, yeah. It's, uh, so it's Bless the Fall, Miss May I, The Plot in You, Sirens and Sailors, and oh. a, a War Within. Oh, that's gonna be an Oh, man, that's yeah. gonna be a show you don't wanna miss, I'll tell you. Yeah, it's, that's Monday. That's like next week. Wait, it's Monday? Wait, uh, do you still got tickets for that? Not this, not this upcoming Monday, but. Next. To yeah. the, the next next Monday. Yeah. You're gonna have to send me links to all these. Things. Yeah, I might go to that one only be, and then like, sleep Tuesday and then Wednesday go to the Word Alive. <laughs> 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 like I'm gonna miss. Yeah, I'm gonna miss. I'm, gonna miss call, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss college on Thursday because I will just be dead. Yeah, you're. We're not. Don't gonna miss it. Just go to class and fall asleep. Fuck them. They're still getting your money either way, That's right? True. Yeah, but I might as well not show up. Because I only have two classes on Thursdays. I have one at like 8 in the morning, and the other one's at like 2 in the afternoon. So I could go to the 2 in the afternoon one. That's why I didn't go to school. Because fuck it. Okay. Learning's for nerds. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm too stupid for that. <laughs> I graduated high school and said, fuck textbooks. <laughs> Heard that shit. Uh, well, I'm not trying to cut anything short, but I need to be getting to bed. All right, yeah, let's, let's wrap are it are up. we done right. or? I think we're just about you done anyway. You wanna call it? You wanna call it here, Nick? You wanna call it? Okay, guys, it's been a good fucking week. We fucking <laughs> talked about shit. We got Dan, we got Brandon, <laughs> and Chris, and I don't know. Go ahead, Brandon, do it. All right, well, guys, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like. Like for Nick. Like, like for Nick. That's all you need to know. End it. Like for what? Nick. Just end it? Yeah, like End for... it? No. Okay. What? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going out in style here. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Subscribe to our Twitter and our Facebook page so you guys can get the most updates about our shit and what's going on and when we post episodes and shit. And make sure to follow these guys. On follow me on Twitter. I don't use Twitter. So follow them, follow them <laughs> I don't on, use it. Follow, follow <laughs> them on all the social medias and make sure to uh, watch Dan's stream. He streams pretty much every night. So.
Because he's cool and he's popular and he's sold out. He's got viewers. Come check him out. Show him what's Gucci. And Nick's going to play us out with one of his songs. I'm assuming Not this week. I don't have that shit set up. That'll start right, next week. <laughs> I look like an idiot. And now you're going to have to cut that shit out. Well, you can cut it out because I'm sending you the video. Going out, going out to some lion blood. I got dizzy way too quick. Where'd my glasses go? This is a mess. I'll use these glasses. Put a hook on. That one's my favorite video. Is it hooked? It's. I think it's his noise gate or something. <laughs> I do best like going volume. And... <laughs> you like cut it out like mid breakdown. It's just like what? Yeah, it's like wait, like... wait, what? Come on, my head. <laughs> oh, the do 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 that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in the song. No, it was not. No, it wasn't. That definitely wasn't there. <laughs> Definitely cut it. It was like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> we'll see it in the video because honestly, it's been doing a, it a lot this whole time we've been chatting. Anyway, Dan will talk and it just <laughs> won't show up until everyone else is quiet. It's weird. <laughs> anyway, that feels bad, man. We'll, we'll end it here, guys. We have a lot of fun. Hopefully, next week we'll be just as crazy and we'll get that shit for the end video. We'll probably do suggestions. I'll set it up soon. We'll do a suggestion of the week. I think we'll go with yes, that one. Yes, suggestion of the week, and it'll be suggested by Brandon or Dan or Chris or Nick, and it'll be whatever song it is, and it'll be the music or video. Because I'll find a way to do it, and it won't be hard. But nice. we'll do it. We'll do it. It'll right. be The only problem is then we're posting a video that's got copywritten music at the end. Who gives a fuck? We're not making money yeah, off of it mean, anyway. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> popular right now. Yeah. Peace All right, then. see you later, guys. Later, yeah. bros. Ah, yay. Kawaii.